This is when, uh, you know, normally we'd say, oh, we're celebrating the weekend. This is going to be great. Yeah, and normally. It's, it, yeah, not impossible. That, no, impossible yeah. because our, our hearts, our minds are with everyone in Southwest Florida, friends, and all across the state in our communities as well. And it's going to take a lot of time and money to rebuild. Yeah. And I do want to share this with you. We, well, first of all, we have some new video that's in from Fort Myers. So we're going to pop that up. I mean, look, th this is this is just some, I mean, we just keep showing you video, video, video images of all of the damage to areas uh, that And then you live. can look at just this one issue here. Right. How much time and energy is going to take to get this back up to where it needs to be. Right. And you and saw think it, about the whole area. And having to get all of this picked up out and you know, and then we, uh, you know, on islands, on mm -hmm. beaches, where you have one bridge. How do you get? Uh, it just, yeah. it's going to take a lot, and it's going to take we all of us. I have a friend who lives in that lives building. building. Yeah, well, we have a great um, update. I mean, this yeah. is fantastic so, news. As you're looking at all of this, and you're soaking in just exactly the amount of damage inflicted to not just Lee County, but to to Collier and to Charlotte and to all of us. Uh, the Glazer family, they are the owners of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They have announced that they are going to donate a million dollars for Hurricane Ian relief efforts, and it's going to go to organizations they say support those most impacted by Ian in Southwest Florida. Again, signaling really to all of us that it is going to take all of us together as a community, as a state. We are all Floridians, and we have to support our fellow Floridians as they rebuild because you said it earlier. This is not days, this is not weeks, no. this is not months. No, I mean, we've seen it with other storms, years. I mean, you, you'll meet people sometimes who say, I haven't been able to rebuild my home. I've met them, I've interviewed them three years later, still trying to put together the or, pieces. Or living in FEMA shelters. Yes. How many years yes. later? We saw that with or Katrina and Irma. Exactly. So um, to see the, the Glazer family step up and bring in a million dollars to this area for organizations yep. that are working on the hard hit areas to get that money to people who need it. And they do so, so quickly, uh, you know, taking the lead here. And there, there's a lot of I organizations doing that. So, yeah. Yeah, I guarantee you that we're going to start to see um, other players yeah. similar to the Glazer family um, start to, to follow suit. But listen, it doesn't take a million dollars to help. You know? Individually, if we each you know, donate if, if you on feel our scale, compelled, if you feel compelled, uh, uh, it can add up very quickly. Yeah. We've seen it before. We saw it with Katrina.